Hi, my name is Russell Savory. I'm one half of the uh, Stone Marie's Aerodrome uh, project. Um, the Aerodrome is uh, absolutely unique. It is the only World War I um, Aerodrome with the buildings intact, um, bar none. Um, I, I decided to um, acquire the um, Aerodrome with my uh, business partner, um, Steve Wilson. Once sort of um, arriving at the Aerodrome, it, it, it has a um, has a feel and a character about it, and it made the sort of hairs on the back of my neck stand up. And, um, and it, it just it's, it's got a, it's got a feeling about it that sort of grabs you. And obviously, then going into the history um, and and finding out about the uniqueness of the aerodrome is something that had to be saved. We're in uh, the officers' mess ante room now, and this is where the officers would have sat and waited to be called through for uh, their meals and would have sat in the evening, maybe a, a billiard pool table. But again, this is one of those rooms that we're going to restore and it's going to take some time to get that feeling back into it, but we will get there in the end. The object, the object of the um, project is to restore the aerodrome to its former glory. Very much I'd like the, 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 the locals to engage with the aerodrome and treat it as, uh, you know, it is their, as their little baby really. And the success of this project is, you know, very much dependent on the locals, and the locals accepting what we're uh, what we're trying to achieve here. So this is has now been seeded uh, to be a flower meadow in a wildlife centre. This is going to uh, contain two ponds that we're we're having dug here. That there, there are two reasons that the ponds are being dug here. Number one, it's a requirement by the five fibre grade for X amount of thousands of gallons of water required here. Um, and number two, um, for the schools and other people in, um, interested in wildlife conservation, preservation, to come here and have a, a nice quiet walk in the countryside uh, on a walkway that we will have built here uh, and they'll be able to sit out in various uh, little sets in and around the, uh, the airfield itself. Some of the major things we're going to do is the, the hangars We've managed to find the original drawings for those uh, for the hangers that were on site. Um, so those hangers will be recreated exactly as they were. Um, that includes the, the, the feather edge uh, boarding on the outside of those and the uh, canvas type um, roof structure that they had. Uh, my name is Tim Bardwell. Um, I operate a local contracting company, CJ Bardwell Limited, based about half a mile away. We've been um, our, installed as main contractor for the restoration of the stone Murray's Aerodrome uh, and very proud to be associated with the project. I've been aware of this site since I was probably about 10 years old. Um, I grew up in the village just down the road half a mile away and uh, we used to play here as kids in and out of the buildings, you know, wooden guns and stuff, that sort of thing, playing around. So yeah, I was aware of it um, for a long time. Remembrance Day parades, etc, etc can come up here and the, con and the um the groups from the reenactment groups will come here as well and they can hold parades out there for people to see all in First World War uniforms. Um, I want to engage the people with the children when they come around they can actually see how flight has moved on and you know, how flight early, you know, started in the early years and how it's moved on. This project is about conservation, education and preservation and this is such an important site that it can't be afforded to be lost.